and uh, there's hecklers in the crowd. And I'm backstage listening to this. So, you know, like, I'm, I'm just terrified. You know, my heart's pounding, and I'm sweating, I'm afraid of failure. It was like the first time I had sex, <laughs> except it wasn't a parking lot. <laughs> and I, I didn't get paid after that. <laughs> so I uh, get out on stage. It turns out I'm the only comedian who doesn't get heckled, right? But I wind up feeling strangely disappointed. It was like being that altar boy, that one altar boy that the priest didn't like. Because <laughs> in my head I'm like, hey, you know, I can suck too. <laughs> Which is probably what that altar boy also thought. So let me, not, let me not defend heckling, like I think it's mean, I think it's wrong, but let me tell you, one time I saw it was deserved. And before I talk shit about another comedian on stage, all right, you gotta agree to keep this between like the 75 of us. <laughs> Great, okay. So I'm at this open mic, and this comedian comes out and he opens his shit. I hate women. See, I told you it was like a gay bar. <laughs> <laughs> I hate women. And then he goes on for five minutes bitching about how he's not getting laid. You know, and I'm like, uh, maybe that has something to do with your sales pitch, buddy. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So, and he really did hate women. Because he finds this woman in the front and starts picking on her. He's like, what color are your panties? When did you last act? Period. And, you know, he's a dick. And she's getting redder and redder. She's not having fun. But he's not getting it. So, finally, he's like, you know, I hate virgins. You know why I hate virgins? And without missing a beat, this poor woman cracks back, uh, probably because in 20 years you'll still be one. <laughs> she owned it, all right? So the women in the room, they are loving it, right? And they kind of rally around and they form the Yaya -ya sisterhood. <laughs> but the men in the room, you know, we know that the time has come to shut our yaps and put our heads down, right? But he's not getting it, so he's you know yelling back at them, and they're drowning them out. So finally, he's like, he's he's had he's at the end of his rope, and he says, "Yeah, well, for two cents, I give up all women forever." If you've ever wondered how many thrown pennies it would take <laughs> to knock a man unconscious, <laughs> forty-seven. <laughs> So, you know, and he, he, he went wrong because he was kind of using his comedy to divide people. And it's really easy to divide people. And even in this room right now, there are divisions. For example, you know, I'm a stand-up comic and this guy here has a job that pays. <laughs> so you see, it's easy. But I kind of like to focus on the things that, that bring us together. And one of the things I think we all have in common are stupid habits, the dumb shit that we do that we don't think about. One thing that's been on my mind is we have this idea that other Americans aren't going to understand us unless we kind of mind what we're saying. You'll see, like, in a coffee shop, someone will say, oh, you know, I dropped it. Could I have another spoon? <laughs> like, if you don't do this shit, they're going to give you a fucking clock. <laughs> spoon, I don't... TikTok, what the... <laughs> and what if you made different gestures from what you were saying? Like, would people not understand you? Like, if I'm like, hey, could you go to the bar and get me a gin and tonic? <laughs> gin and tonic? Gin and tonic? Gin and... <laughs> you, have, you have the time? <laughs> time. What else brings us together? Ooh, I know what brings us together. Text messages. Well, it brings some of us together. I gotta tell you, I, I suck at texting. Uh, first of all, my cell phone is one of those old ones that still has like a fucking rotary dial. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not good at typing with my thumb. You know, all my texts come out like, running, plate, be there, swoon, cue. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys text message? Anyone here? Are you text messaging now? She's like, can't talk, listening to Count Chocula Motherfucker. <laughs> my name is Neil Gary. it's my time. Yeah. Thank you very much. Neil Gary, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 